All right, so I'm going to make two addition polymers, or I'm going to show you an example of addition polymerization. Okay, and we're going to look at the monomers right now. Right now, I'm going to make uh, nylon. And as you can see in nylon, okay, there are two sides of the monomer that have this Ku group, this carboxylic acid. So this monomer can attach itself to another of the same monomer by taking out a water and what you get is a re repetition of the same monomer by taking the water out, okay? So what's cool about working with um, or doing this reaction is that if you are linking monomers together in a direction, you can actually see a change in the length, okay? So what I'm going to do is start with two chemicals that make this polymer, okay? And um, I just don't want any on myself, so that's why... You see me with the gloves. So I'm going to pour some of this. Now, we're learning about organic chemistry. It's hexamethylamine diamine. Okay, so uh, it's, got, it's got a nice organic name to it. Um, now I'm going to add some called adipyl chloride. And again, the combination of these, these two will, will make the polymer or make the monomer. It's how I make the polymer in this demo. It's pretty interesting, though. All right, so this one, of course, I have to open it. It's a fresh bottle. So this one, I definitely these definitely have two densities. But what's really cool about this demo is that once I open this bottle up, what's cool about this demo is to watch the actual length of the polymer appear in front of your eyes from the two liquids. So in this case, I'm going to try to open this bottle, which does not want to open. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to add this, comp this compound. I don't want them to interact, so I'm kind of pouring them on their side. Or I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. All right, it's enough of that. So you can see the two liquids, yes? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Well, you can definitely see the two liquids. All right, let me just get this off here so you can see what's going on. And you also can see some vapors. There's a definitely high vapor pressure associated with this. Okay, so you got the two liquids. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper clip. And uh, at the end of a paper clip, I made a little hook. All right. And I'm going to pull, basically, put this inside. I'm going to pull the bottom layer through the top layer. Okay? So you see if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to try to drop this in. And now I'm just going to pull this out. Why am I gaining length? Why am I gaining length here? All right? It's because I made a polymer. All right, try that again. Water is coming out. And the vapor is just a reaction? Yeah, it's just a vapor. Are you piercing through the... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling one layer through another. And what's happening is I'm causing the what? Condensation polymerization. These things are now the monomers are what? Monomers are lining up and I'm making nylon. Yeah. All right. So you can see definitely monomers were made here to make something as long as we'll do one more. Okay. But these are strands of nylon. Again, I'm just adding up monomers here. Water's coming out. All right, you get the idea. And these are strands of nylon. So example of monomers lining themselves up in a way to create um, this directionality in the molecule that can give us that kind of length. Okay? So 
So I'll put this back in the fume hood because the ethyl chloride or fumes I don't want to keep breathing. Okay, let's do another example of um, addition polymerization. Okay, so that was the, the nylon. Let's do a polyurethane. You've heard of polyurethane, yes? Polyester, someone's wearing that. Okay, and then we have silicones and we have polyurethane. So this is the monomer for, for polyurethane. Right there. Okay, so if we look at this one, notice what we have here. We have these double bonded O's that allow for what? Linkage, okay, of the polymers to one to the other. So this can hit another one to the same side and create this monomer over and over again. So we should also be able to see some length as well changing in these reactions. Okay, so take my cup. And what I'm going to add in this cup is two chemicals. Again, it's the same idea here. All right. Uh, I'm just going to pour one into the other. And I'm going to pour equal amount of this one. Then I'm going to stir and let this condensation polymerization occur. Boy, that's a thick. Hopefully that's still good. Oop, that should be good. I think that's way too much. That's fun. I'm going to stir these guys together. And we're creating the monomers. And what we expect is if I'm, if I'm creating this carefully and correctly, that we expect some length to happen as well here. All right, I need a. Um, yeah, I definitely need a um, something to clean this off. Now I don't know if these, I don't know if these, if these um, paper towel works. It's dripping. Yeah, it's probably dripping my clothes. Just wasn't in the car to me to wear nice things today. Okay. So what's happening? The monomers. The monomers should be linking up to polymers, and we should have some kind of um, growth here. Um, not sure if we're doing that. I don't know how old these chemicals are. But if I don't see a change in the next few minutes, then nothing happened. They should be actually expanding out the top. Not spontaneous. Right now it's not spontaneous, correct. Oh, I think we have, oh, it's starting. Oh. Okay. So I definitely think, I think we definitely have some uh, success here. Yep. Starting to rise because the monomers are linking. Okay. So we definitely have some. Can you see through that or no? Okay. Yeah, you can definitely see that it's coming through the top. Okay, here it comes. It's getting there. It's getting there. I think it's going to come over the top, too. All right. I think these chemicals have had it. These might have been in here a long time. Here we go. It's like the sun rising. That's my metaphor. Okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're oozing. So you can definitely see the monomers definitely are linking each other because you see them getting taller. They're, they're linking in a direction. In fact, now it's going to ooze over the top maybe. Going to 
going a little slower than I anticipated, but I'm just trying to create this shake that's gone awry, maybe effect. What's, what's the spoon doing? The spoon is. Oh, you're gonna see that hopefully in a second. It's still oozing. Now it's giving off heat as the polymerization goes by, and of course it's giving off water vapor too. But what's interesting about this polymer is that once it gives off its heat and cools, it cools into a relatively hard polymer. In fact, they use this called a polyurethane phone system to fill in gaps, let's say, in insulation. Oh, is that what that is? That's what that's stuff. Yeah, exactly what this is. All right, so you, you can definitely can utilize this. All I'm trying to do is give it the uh, old shake spoon stuck in the uh, food kind of thing. Still moving on me. Definitely going a lot slower. I definitely see uh, heat giving. This thing's splitting now. I may not have mixed it too well either. Still reacting and oozing. Ugh. It's still still working. So clearly, uh, monomers have linked up. When you had so many of them just loosely uh, put together, what happened was what? Yeah, they, they were monomers and they had a high density, but now they link themselves up in a certain pattern. Now they're less dense. Okay, this is clearly, this is still working its magic. Still a little wet. Okay, so we'll let that rock and roll for a couple more minutes. Okay. And you may have seen these uh, also, they're also used, you ever see those dishes that look like, hey, I've got some ice cream in a dish, and you go up to it, it's a hard, it's a, it could be the same kind of polymer, although mine's, this I don't think you'd ever uh, think it's something you could probably eat with, because there's a spoon in it, but uh, that's what the effect was supposed to give us, all right? Maybe it's some kind of cotton candy gone bad or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's the hand. We have time, we'll make another one. All right. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the polymer. Could you like touch that? Or not? Yeah. Once it dries, it's getting there. All right. So those are the two reactions um, of uh, of condensation polymerization. Okay. And I hope you get the idea that monomers are being put together. All right. And in about two seconds, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Touch it and throw it around. Is it hard? It will be, yeah. It just got to dry. Is it kind of like spongy if you break it open? Because that's how it eventually. It's, it's going to be hard. It'll be a hard, you know, crusty kind of a, a insulation. What's that? Yes, you can. As long as it's dry. If it's still wet like it is here, you might. Yeah, yeah. That's it's still a little uh, sticky. But it's, get, it's, it's drying fast. And you're going to see how hard it is in a sec. Give it another minute or so. And I got a little spoon in here to give it the old, uh, you know, this is your dessert tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure if it looks like anything you might eat. Maybe homemade ice cream that's going awry. <laughs>